Once again, I apologize because the formatting is kind of off here, but at least we have the right side going on, right? Definite, indefinite. So this is what I was talking about in this last slide. Um, depending on whether or not the sentence is indefinite or definite, up here, we have to choose from those which endings we're going to use. So if you're using these endings, it means the sentence is definite. But And if you're using these endings, this means that the sentence is indefinite. So I'll give you two examples of indefinite. Um, one we showed before was I run. And the other one we did was I read a book. Sorry, slow writing. So, if it's indefinite, we don't need to worry about these. Instead, we just go and look here. We know these are indefinite because, once again, we have the uh -huh, very vague, and run, which is an intransitive verb, meaning we're not going to be doing any action on something. Um, they usually run on something, and that's not putting any action on something. So, running, the word, the verb for run is footni. Okay, and I always like to write them out with the ni, which means to, so to run, just because that's most similar to English. So footni, this is to run. And so, what I kind of explained before, we, all we need to do is take out the ni, and then use this ending up here. Because I'm doing i run, so the i is right here. And so now I do footdok, and that means i run. Okay? So I'll erase that, so I'll give myself some room. The other one now is, I read a book. So the word for to read is ovashni. Once again, the ni is to, so to read. And I said, I read a book, so I say ovashok. Edge, meaning a. Kunvet. So, kunv is the word for book. Um, this et right here is another kind of ending, which will be explained later, so don't worry about it. But I just wanted you to know that kunvet isn't, doesn't mean book. Kunv means book. The et is a different ending I'll explain later. So, ulva shok, it's kunvet. That's indefinite right there. Alright, so I'll erase this and give you a couple of definite examples. Okay, so indefinite, you're gonna in the definite form, you're gonna see the a lot. So, for instance, uh, we do I eat the apple, the apple, or I can say I read the book. Longer sentences, so I'm kind of on space. I'm gonna erase a little bit just so I can write a little bit more. So let's we'll start with I eat the book or the I eat the apple. So the word for to eat is any. This is one of those irregular verbs, so when you conjugate it, it kind of does something weird. Uh, there's a list of those uh, on the internet or in most Hungarian grammar books. So I eat, so we still need to look at this, and we know that we're going to be using the O-M and E-M because it's the I. And with the vowel harmony, this is an E, so we're going to be using the E-M specifically. So for this verb, this irregular one, they, it turns those N-N into the S-Z, so it goes S, and then you add the N, S-M. And that's the same with all those, so S said, S-C, S suk, S C tech, S seek. So S M. Sorry. I forgot the little hump. So S M. So S M Oz Omat. Like that. So once again, this T is a weird ending. The word for apple is Alma. I'll explain that ending a little bit later. So S M was Almat. So there's the the. The can either be A. 
or Oz. The reason why you see Oz sometimes is because if the next word after the the starts with a vowel, just like this one, they throw the Oz right here. Just like a uh, and an in English, they do the same thing with the aw and Oz with Hungarian. So that's someone's Almat. So the next one example that we were doing is I read the book. Once again, the word to read is Olvashni. Take off the NI. We look at the I again, right there. And we get Olvash. Oops. Olvashom. Olvashom. Aw. So it's not edge, edge is a. Uh. So instead of using that one, now we're using the ah, kundvet, the book. So now, since we know what the book is, this is now definite. Uh, once again, kundv, this is book. Et is an ending. Don't worry about it right now. It will be important in the next section.